Well, you may remember us telling you uh, Christmas weekend, dozens of Charlotte seniors were displaced from their homes following this devastating flood. This happening at Magnolia Senior Apartments on Beatty's Ford Road in North Charlotte. Well, for the last two months, about 60 of them have been staying at local hotels. The city has been covering the hotel cost, but that's going to end now on Tuesday. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre explains what happens next for these seniors. The whole thing is 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 it's um it's traumatizing. Nilka McDonald is trying to come to terms with losing the place she's called home for the last three years. Her unit and several others at the Magnolia Senior Apartments were badly damaged during a flood Christmas weekend. Her lease was eventually terminated and she has since been living at the residence inn like many of her former neighbors. I lost things that it wasn't even the, the, the money wise. It was sentimental value from when my father died from my uh, some sisters that I know that died that left me things and those things are gone. The city of Charlotte is covering the hotel fees for 62 seniors through the end of February. Starting March 1st, those who plan to stay at the hotels will need to start paying out of their own pocket. They will be in charge of paying what their monthly rent at Magnolia was. Any leftover costs will be covered by the city. So the city and the community were still out there looking for funding to keep them housed. Carol Hardison with Crisis Assistance Ministry says that they found housing for about 10 seniors, but as it's been challenging. It does shine a light on the affordable housing issue, especially those who are low income. McDonald says some of the seniors are relieved to be able to stay at the hotel, but says there is still a lot of uncertainty about finding permanent housing. So next month, she has decided to move in with her family. Honestly, going to my daughter's house, I'm more comfortable doing that. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.